It's 10 a.m. at Lviv City Hall, where the week of sustainable energy is getting underway. We happened to be passing by when we heard a familiar tune sung by a children's choir. We then experienced how this local event suddenly turned into a political demonstration, an affirmation of Ukraine's commitment to Europe, underscored by the strains of the European anthem Ode to Joy. Andrei Sadovi selected the music. The 45-year-old mayor of Lviv has been in office for the past eight years. He was elected twice, taking 42% of the vote in the last election. He stands for a united Ukraine and a return to normality. I was born in this country. I want Ukraine to be successful. And I'm working hard to make that happen. I love the people, I believe in God, and I try to set an example. Early this year, mass demonstrations took place here in Lviv as well. These are pictures from February. Just like in Kiev, people gathered here every day, hoping for a better future. Fast forward to July, and there's no trace of all that fighting spirit as the mayor takes us to the site where the demonstrations took place. Normality has returned, and today residents of Lviv are more interested in getting a snapshot together with their mayor, who has celebrity status. And he, at least, hasn't given up the fight. The Russian aggressor does not face 1,000 or 10,000 or 100,000 of our soldiers. They're up against 45 million Ukrainians. We will never surrender our country. Thank God, Ukraine is independent and will remain independent. The semester is almost over at the city's universities. Exams are in full swing. The mayor took in hundreds of students from Crimea following Russia's annexation of the peninsula. And this fall, just as many are scheduled to arrive from eastern Ukraine, where separatist violence continues. It's a welcome refuge for 19-year-old Valentina and her 21-year-old friend Vitaly. Both fled from the Crimean capital, Simferopol. I've lost contact with friends and acquaintances in Crimea. They were all pro-Russian and I wasn't. My parents are still there, but without jobs. My father was a chief physician, but he was forced to voluntarily resign. He had no choice. I still believe Ukraine will become Ukrainian again. Putin has made a mess of everything. Ukraine has no chance as long as Putin is alive. We'll never get our territory back. But someday the East will belong to us again, and so will Crimea. 20-year-old Lubov is from Odessa, where the conflict is still raging. She fled to Lviv despite the clear warnings of pro-Russian forces in Odessa. They told me a lot of nonsense. My landlord said I'd be killed in Lviv because the city is full of bandits. There are no Russian soldiers to protect us and I shouldn't speak a word of Russian. They kill women and children there, he said, and we would starve. Lubov has done a lot of thinking in recent weeks. She says change is necessary for Ukraine. The people have to change in eastern and western Ukraine. They have to learn that life will not improve if they steal things or accept bribes. If they want better lives, they have to do something for the community. That's music to Mayor Sadovi's ears. This afternoon, he's taking part in an initiative to restore the historic center of Lviv. Every resident is asked to do their part by improving the appearance of their own courtyard. The old Soviet ideology taught us to sit around doing nothing until the authorities ordered us to do something. That's wrong. Now we expect people to take the initiative. And that brings in help from outside, like the German aid organization GIZ, which gives us funding. Back at City Hall, the mayor says it's now up to Russia to take the initiative. Ukraine, he says, cannot possibly reach out to the Russians after all they've done. Russia has always been our partner, but now they've stabbed us in the back. 
And that's very painful. Now we're waiting for a sign of goodwill on their part. Only then can we be partners again, economically at least. Despite all the signs of goodwill, the people of Lviv are unlikely to forget what has happened in their country. At the entrance to the city hall, the mayor has hung up photographs of the demonstrators who were killed in Kiev. They serve as a reminder of what Ukraine needs most, peace.